Drive through Wellesley streets at twilight, and you can't help but notice brighter white light coming from nearly 3,000 new street lights in town. Dramatic results from the Wellesley Municipal Light Plant Project to retrofit the town's high-pressure sodium lights with environmentally friendly light-emitting diode, or LEDs. Wellesley is among some of the earliest towns in the state to complete this work, leading the way in improving the safety of our roads, reducing our carbon footprint, and saving taxpayers money. It's a cost savings for the town. It's environmentally friendly. Um, all the lights are dark sky compliant. Replacing these lights will eliminate 900,000 kilowatt hours, which is the equivalent of taking off 134 passenger vehicles. It will also save the taxpayers $100,000 annually. In 2014, Wellesley's annual town meeting adopted a goal proposed by the Sustainable Energy Committee to reduce the town's greenhouse gas emissions by 25 percent below 2007 levels by the year 2020. The LED streetlight conversion is one of the more highly visible projects that's helping to meet that goal. The work itself was a team effort in both funding and design. The total project cost about $860,000. A grant of $193,050 from the Massachusetts Department of Energy Resources partially funded the retrofit, along with a $105,000 contribution from the Board of Selectmen. The MLP board contributed the remaining $562,700. To develop the best possible project, the MLP put together a committee involving citizens and other town departments such as the Police and the Natural Resources Commission to provide guidance and input, with special attention paid to how the lighting would impact natural environments. A successful lighting project will address energy efficiency, public safety, public health, and the environment and this project really did address all of those issues. The police weighed in, the NRC got to weigh in, the Sustainable Energy Committee got to weigh in and it was a really collaborative effort on part of a lot of different um, organizations in town. Since the white light from LED fixtures provides a noticeable difference from the more yellowish light of the high pressure sodium fixtures, residents weighed in too. Before starting this project, the MLP installed pilot LED fixtures on light poles like the one behind me on Croton and Pine Streets. Residents were then sent surveys asking for their feedback on color, brightness, and the area illuminated. The town used this information to help determine the specifics on the lights that would be used for the entire conversion project. The survey showed an overwhelming preference for LED lights that are lower on the Kelvin scale. Kelvin is a unit of measurement that describes the color of a light source. Lower Kelvin bulbs have a warmer hue. MLP crews used 2,700 Kelvin bulbs along residential streets and 3,000 Kelvin bulbs along more heavily traveled roads like Great Plain Avenue and Route 9. Typically in town, we have a light on every other pole. Some locations have uh, every pole just because of a sidewalk or an, a major intersection. The lights that we purchased, the LED lights that we purchased, are like for like. So it gives off as much light as the old high pressure sodiums. Throughout much of the spring and early summer, yellow MLP bucket trucks dotted the town as linemen changed out the street lights. The town is divided up into 10 zones. Each crew would get a map and they would work on that particular zone. We started on the um, north east side of town and we worked all the way to the Natick town line. We were averaging about 22 lights per day, per crew. After cutting the power, the crews would remove the old heads and replace them with new LED Cobra headlights, named because their shape resembles a Cobra snake head. The town recycling and disposal facility helped with the conversion process, picking up and recycling all of the cardboard from the lights and helping to separate and recycle the glass bulbs. A small number of high-pressure sodium fixtures are still stored at the MLP. These will be used as replacement parts for some of the old street lights that were left in place in sensitive environmental areas. The project is 100% complete. We retrofitted roughly 2,900 fixtures. Um, there was 264 fixtures that were in the area of NRC-owned land. Um, we were working closely with them to make sure that we uh, didn't disturb the environment. We were really pleased that the MLP was willing to take this into consideration and leave those lights in place and we're really hopeful that um, technology will catch up and some, at some point they will be able to pilot a um, 
street lamp that meets their criteria and that's great for the environment. In previous winters, the MLP would get two to three calls every day to replace old street lights that were no longer working. These new LED lights are expected to last up to 20 years and save taxpayers more than $2.6 million during that time. With these new lights in place, the municipal light plant and the town are already at work on another cost-saving program, bringing commercial internet service to Wellesley businesses. That's the next project on the bucket list for these linemen.